Okay, so today I have here my Mazda 3 with the original radio in it. And so now I want to replace that by an aftermarket radio. And I want to show you how you can really easily do that. Okay, so we start out by removing here this plastic cover, this bezel on the top. Um, that's where the screws are behind for the radio. So we uh, open the glove box and you actually don't need to do, use any tools here to do this. You just pop off this uh, plastic piece. You can use a screwdriver if you have trouble getting behind there, but uh, yeah, just uh, pull out these uh, plastic clips that the, they hold on the plastic piece here. And uh, those are on the left side and in the center. And only on the right side you have to be really careful because there's no none of these clips. It's actually a hook and you don't want to accidentally break that off. So if you take a look at the hook, you just slide this plastic piece out to the left so that you don't break the hook. Okay, so now we have access to the screws that hold the radio in place. And there's only two screws. You see those here on the top. They're on the right and, off the, and on the left of the LCD screen. So just use a Phillips screwdriver. Just remove those really quick. And now, how do you get the radio out? And that's really easy. You just pull it towards you and eventually you have to tilt it upwards a little bit to get the LCD display out with it because that's the display is attached to the radio. And then we have here three connectors there's the AM FM antenna, then the harness for the LCD display, and then here the main harness for the radio. There's like a little plastic tabs on the connectors that you have to press down to uh, get the radio and the harness detached from each other. Okay, so now in case your aftermarket radio comes with a navigation system, then uh, you want to install a GPS antenna someplace. And I suggest to do this here by the windshield. So you just pop off this cover here for the uh, with the air ducts. There's two screws that hold that in place, and you pop this up and pull it up straight out towards you. And you see here I already put the antenna in. I glued that on this plastic here, and then you route the cable, the wire down to the, into the area where the radio is going to be installed. So this is this is really easy. Only takes a minute and then you just replace this cover back on. And uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, put the screws back in. Only two screws here also, so this can be done really easy. So now we can already uh, install the radio itself. So I have here this uh, adapter harness that I found on eBay. And I use that to connect to the original Mazda harness, so you don't have to cut any wires. You just uh, use this adapter harness and you connect that with the harness with the small harness that comes with your radio and then you just plug this into the original harness and the other end connects to your radio so this is really really safe uh, if you need uh, the diagram for the uh, the pinouts for the original harness and i have a link here down below so you can download the uh, document here to check out how the harness the pinout of that uh, connector, the original connector is. And now we have the radio and we connect all the others, other connectors here. So we have the AM FM antenna, GPS antenna in this case, and then also another small connector for like a USB. So you can uh, connect your phone to it, charge your phone, and play music from your phone. And then I already pre-installed this radio into a bezel 
to like an aftermarket radio bezel. You also get that, you find that on eBay. And now you just push this bezel into place that almost fits right. It's not 100% but it's alright, it's good enough. And you push it into place and you make sure that the uh, metal tabs here on top, that those line up with the original mounting holes here. And just use the original screws to uh, screw it back in. And now don't forget here this last plastic cover, this plastic bezel here that goes on top. Just uh, hook it in on the right first and then push in all the uh, clips. And now we're already done and we can try out if this thing works right. So uh, we start up the car, make sure everything works. And yeah, so here we are, we already can listen to music. Yeah, yeah so and then, yeah, this thing also came with a navigation system, so we can try that one out too. And we check out that, make sure that the AM FM antenna is connected right, so we have reception there. Try out everything, and we're already done, right? Yeah, so uh. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, then leave a comment below and don't forget to check out my other Monster 3 videos.